Hi, I'm Eric from Lawson's Dive Shop, and today we're going to go over the recommended gear you need to dive for lobster here in California. To start, we need a California Department of Fish and Wildlife fishing license with a saltwater stamp because we'll be diving in the ocean. We need a lobster card in order to report your catch. We need a game bag and a lobster card or lobster gauge. Those four items are things that make you legal to go diving. Of course, you need all your standard, standard diving equipment and there's some of the other accessory items like a light and some retainers to attach the bag to your weight belt. But to start, we'll go over the fishing license. So, as I said, you need a fishing license from the Department of Fish and Wildlife. You can get a day license, a two-day license, 10-day license, an annual license. You just have to make sure you have that saltwater stamp. Anytime we're going in the ocean, we have to have a saltwater stamp on our fishing license. Next is we need a report card. Every time we go, we have to fill out the first uh, month, day, and location and gear code before we get in the water. Once we get out of the water, we have to write down how many lobsters were retained. In order, to, in order to do that, we do need a Sharpie or some kind of pen that can write on the waterproof material. So what I like to do is I like to just have a Sharpie in my bag, um, in a Ziploc baggie with my lobster card, my fishing license with a saltwater stamp, so I'm always legal on that aspect. The next item that you need is going to be a game bag. There's a variety of game bags out there. Uh, the one I personally like is this one right here. It is a one hand squeeze, meaning I can open it up with one hand, I don't have to undo a clip, and as soon as I let go, it closes. Last item that we need is going to be a lobster gauge. We need a gauge that's gonna measure the quarter. I personally use the gauge that goes on my light. This is a Trident lobster gauge and mounts right to the front of many brands of lights. This one's just a C4 uh, Underwater Connect C4 chargeable light. The reason why I like the light mounted gauge is that when I'm holding a lobster at night, I can use the light to highlight the lobster and make sure I'm, I'm measuring the carapace correctly. And then when I'm done using the, the gauge and the light, I can let it hang off my wrist with the lanyard, open up my one hand squeeze lobster bag, feed the tail end and let it go into the bag nice and smoothly. Now, in order to hold this bag onto your, your body, if you're gonna do it onto a float, is it okay as well? But I like to dive around the reef where the float lines and everything can get caught up. So one of the things that I use is gonna be this D-ring retainer that goes on my weight belt. And then I have this quick link, which goes on the retainer. And then if you look over here, is a little D-ring on my lobster bag. And then once I secure those, my lobster bag's not going anywhere. And with this attached to my weight belt, it's nice and hemp, nice and uh, easily hung by my waist. And then you're all set. Now, as far as legal equipment, you got all the legal equipment. You got your lobster, uh, sorry, your fishing license, your, your saltwater stamp, your lobster card, your bag, and your gauge. The retainer and the quick link is going to be your accessory items. But another big accessory item is going to be your gloves. Yes, you can use any gloves for lobster diving. However, the one that we recommend is going to be the one that have a Kevlar palm. Our lobsters here, they're called California spiny oak rock lobsters for a reason. They're super spiny and they'll just go through any normal neoprene. So it's really important to have some kind of cut resistant or Kevlar palm. So when you're grabbing your lobster, you're not getting little punctures. In addition to that, if you're diving at night or even during the day, lobster is going to be inside holes, area that's not very well lit. So having a nice light is super important. Usually recommend a 500 lumen plus as your primary light. This one right here is a C4 rechargeable by Underwater Kinetic. It puts out a thousand lumens on high and 500 on low. This is going to allow me to penetrate the surface on that high thousand lumens, be able to see the structure that I'm going to be diving, and then I bump it down to low so I can hunt around the reef without scaring, scaring the lobsters too much. As far as you know, other equipment that you need, obviously you need the standard equipment to go lobster diving, but right here is gonna be your essentials that you need to get started here in Southern California. If you've been spearfishing before, you're looking to get into lobster diving, you're already gonna have your, your fishing license with a saltwater stamp. You just need to purchase about a $10 lobster card. 
a game bag, which you may already have for retaining fish, and then a lobster gauge, and of course a light if you're going to go at night or if you're going to be looking for lobsters in, under the uh, roof or rock structure. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe this video, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the water.